All right, welcome back, friends and neighbors, to the world of the IETF RFC. So last time, well, for the last couple of videos, we've done specific RFCs, IP, ICMP, ARP, TCP, UDP. And I said at one point we would do people of the uh, IETF or some of the folks that have been involved with RFCs. So without further ado, let's talk about some of the people. Now, first up, we got to just rem remind ourselves that RFCs um, are from the Internet Engineering Task Force, or the IETF. So they've been sort of responsible for all these, these RFCs. So if, you, if you're a networking kind of guy like I am, uh, then the standards organizations that you're worried about are the IETF, the IEEE, and sometimes the ITUT. And that, those really form the, the basis for most of our, our uh, standards. But of course, when we move above layer two, we're really talking about RFCs. Now, RFCs have been around for a long, long time. Before they, um, before they were called RFCs, there were a couple of other documents that sort of formed the basis of the RFCs. And so I thought I would start off with one of the guys who was really sort of at the beginning of all of this, a fellow by the name of Steve Crocker. He's the guy that was sort of uh, responsible for all of this. And just for fun, I'll just point you all the way back to RFC number one, and it's called Host uh, Software. And you can see the date there in, uh, was 1969. So this really goes back quite some ways. And there he is. There's our friend Steve Crocker. Now, he is one of the guys. I, I think he's sort of the unsung hero. He's not the guy that's the face of the IETF. He's not the guy that's most vocal, not the person that you see everywhere, but he is certainly one of the folks that was in on what we might say is the ground floor of the internet and the RFCs and all the documentation and everything else, um, and part of the, the work on all of the protocols. So he actually developed a lot of the protocols that we that we see today, or at least the, the protocols that form the basis of a lot of the protocols that we use today. So that host, uh, host connected to a network RFC number one, that was him. And another interesting um, interesting place that you can go to if you really want to know some of the big names in the development of the Internet is the Internet Hall of Fame. And I've included a link down there. But, of course, you can get to everybody from there. Now, no list would be complete without the uh, naming of a guy that's sometimes called the father of the Internet, Vint Cerf. He actually came to RIT a couple of years ago and, and gave us a very engaging uh, talk. He is all over the place. These days, you hear a lot about uh, his work out at Google. He was on the, the board of uh, ICANN for a little while. Uh, that's the, the naming conventions that we have. He is famous for writing the, the link that I've put in there or the reference that I put in there, the CatNet model for internetworking. So that, again, forms the basis for a lot of the things that we do. His, uh, that, if you look at the bottom of the RFCs, there's usually a list of references at the bottom of the RFC. So um, I encourage all of my students to take a look at at least the first couple of pages of the RFCs that you're going to be using because that gives you the idea of what they're about. But if you go all the way down to the bottom, there's the list of references there that um, were all of the, the documents that were used to create the RFC that you might be looking for. And Vince Cerf appears a lot in a lot of those references. Now, another important personage in all of this stuff is John Postel, or Postel, depending on how you want to pronounce it. He was the editor, um, or one of the editors, for many, many, many of the early RFCs. So that meant that all of the RFCs in those days passed through his hands. So remember that we're talking about all of these RFCs that date from the, you know, the 80s and the 90s, and John Postel had, had his hands on all of them. To put them in the same sort of uh, format and shape and in fact by many many accounts he was fairly serious about this and and uh, almost to the point of of being sort of um, a mother hen about all of these rfcs he was also a contributor to many of them in addition to being the editor for all rfcs at the time he was also uh, the author of the ICMP, or one of the authors for the ICMP RFC, UDP, and of course, uh, 790 assigned numbers. So a very, very big name in all of this IETF RFC goodness. Now, there are a lot of uh, folks that, that are not quite as visible, as I mentioned earlier, that some of these guys are 
you know, been part of it or were part of it and are retired now or things like that. But I think it's sometimes good to go back and, and just remind ourselves where all this stuff comes from. So one of the RFCs that we talked about was ARP. David Plummer uh, at, from MIT was the author of that guy there. And so he gets a lot of references, but not a lot of joy for his work on, on ARP. A couple of other ones that were really, really important. One of the big uh, references in a lot of the early um, RFCs, Dalal and, and Sunshine there, connection management in transport protocols. So um, some of the basis for the TCP and UDP stuff that we did. Both Baranek and Newman, uh, that are we see those initials everywhere, BBN, Interface Message Processor. Now there are lots, lots more. Um, and so this is just a little stupid little video that we're putting up on, on YouTube just to sort of remind us of where a little bit about where we come from. The names of the folks, I think, sometimes are really, really interesting. Uh, the reason that we do the things that we do, and sometimes even these little acronyms like BBN uh, that remind us that, uh, you know, we have some, you know, fairly, fairly interesting and important roots. Well, thanks for watching. I'm not sure what we're going to do next here. I'm, we're coming into summertime. We're at the end of the semester. That's probably one of the reasons why it took me so long to get this video out. So I'm really not sure what I'm going to do next, although I've got a lot of interesting projects this summer, so we will see. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening, and may your packets always reach their destinations.